music. What's up, y'all? You got yourself delicious, delightful. I'd eat myself if I was a trifle. Really quite an eyeful. Don't be spiteful or shoot me with a rifle. Even though I can understand why you would be inclined to do so. I'm so perfect. God damn, Matthew McConaughey here. Go on, you know you want to touch me. Hell yeah. I know. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I look like I was hewn by God himself from a piece of holy bark. Imbued with the most desirable qualities a human could aspire to. I'm placed fully formed and radiant on a Hollywood backlot. And that's just about what happened. I'm so beautiful. All my former girlfriends have formed a holy order of nuns in Santa Cruz. So correctly convinced they are that they'll never love a man so perfect again. I'm so beautiful the Colorado Tourist Board and are in the process of erecting a colossal tarpaulin with my face imposed upon it and stretching it across the Grand Canyon. Of course people will prefer to stare at me rather than a barren crater in the ground. Mine is a sexuality without peer. A supernatural perfection gifted to the universe by heaven itself. Only one man on this third stone from the sun rivals me in any way for the crown of most godlike. And that is men's wears. Men Everett. Hot diggity, he's a sauce pot. Ain't he? I want to wake up with you. <laughs> that was Boris Gardner, 1988. 1988. <laughs> oh. This is one horse's head I would love to wake up in bed to next to. Oh, yeah. Hi ho, Silver. Let's ride. I settle up for a ride. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was amazing. It was, isn't it? That was properly. Properly, properly channeling the. Uh, I don't know, it's a Texan love god or something, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's, he's from. Phenomenal torso, that man. Crikey. I don't, I mean, I, the thing is, if I had a body like that, I would, I just would never, I would, I would just constantly be wearing budgie smugglers. Yeah, all the time. I, so you, you'd be going to um, a D funeral. Yeah. Tiny, Little, tiny canary yellow budgie smugglers. Slightly sort of satiny. Ever so slightly shimmering, and that's it. And a pair of flip flops, and maybe some sort of ethnic beads. That's good. Yeah, that's a good look. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at this. Claire's she's got. She's got a turn. She's had a turn. <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss, madam. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do, I, do, I do declare, Matthew, it's so nice of you to turn up. I miss my husband, but my God. It's like, it's like gone like Gone with the Wind, hasn't it? <laughs> and he's that, uh, that, that dark, that dark sort of walnut. Go on, you talk, you oh, talk, you talk. Like he has been, as you say, carved from a solid... Holy bark! Of... I've been carved from holy bark! Arizona rock-hard abs. Oh. They're quite wide as well. He's, um, he's, what do you call those ones at the top there? Your chest muscles. Your pectoral your muscles. Pe his pecs. His pecs. Quite wide. He looks like a Greek god. He looks like um, something like a gladiator. Yeah, he does. That's what he looks like. And the chair. Because that was the Cookie Monster doing, <laughs> doing Russell Crowe. Also, the Cookie Monster also buff. Very oh, sexy. Oh, have you ever I seen mean, him with his shirt off? With his fur off. Oh, oh that's, that, that's right. That's... So what have we done? We've done all of them. We've, we've done, done. gone with the wind. We've just tried to imagine like like a really ripped <laughs> beefcake cookie monster, which is a bit weird. Oh, God. There we go. That was an excellent beginning to a program. Oh, there's a picture of him online. Not the cookie monster. Look. Oh, man. Look at the state of him. He's got, like, cargo pants on. Oh! Oh! God. Buff, oh! buff to our... Hairless. Completely hairless. And the thing is about that... Is that he's not got one of those obvious six pack. It's a little bit more. It's a bit less pronounced. He's got a little bit like of mine. Chum. Yeah. 